so these are some of the ones that we've gone over already every time you pull them out though the details are amazing but these are what we're going to go over so these are church and we had just gotten to this in the last video hopefully you've seen it if not go back and check it out and this has been uh, classified by many people as chert and I have in fact been on the Russian River watershed and seen whole cliffs of layers. It is basically, I've been trying to research it and there's not a whole lot of interest in it as a gemstone although you can see here in California it reaches the green spectrums of color and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's as beautiful as jadeites and such. But when you read the descriptions in three of the four books that I have on rocks and minerals, where it's even mentioned, it's usually described as reds, browns, and there's a lot of that here in California also. But what I always picked up and what people called California jade, I learned later in life was this was chert and when you look it up it says chert is basically flint and flint is basically just a silicate so again just leads you into major classifications and um, but the color of it is is superb and it's very hard it took a good shine and very translucent, I mean, you can get all different translucent levels of, of the green. And every shade, from gray to brown to red, now a couple of these might actually be jades because I tossed in some of the green stones that we found on the far north coast and the color that came out in them is just awesome but I am no expert in that it would be about hardness about heat Here's a gray example. I believe this is one that we actually finished the last video off on. Last video off on. You can see the micro crystal structure of the whole thing with the backlighting there. Very tricky. I'm doing a light block with my hand. These here are the serpentines. That's what we are going to for sure call this looking in hand-drawn pictures, books without photographs, only hand-drawn pictures. I was wondering if it might be andesite, but um, the feedback from the audience, from all of you, was that it was definitely serpentine, just a pure form, so... That's what I originally thought, and that's basically what I classify it is as, because that's what it comes out of, and where you find it. But these are my favorite pieces. They're beautiful. Their black inclusions are, are just really strong, and they're very pure. It's not a flaky or fibrous type, just a very crystalline type of serpentine. So yay, those turned out good. I think that these we will apply some mineral oil to. And they feel porous enough to where that will soak it up. Stabilize them a little bit more and uh, bring out more depth of their color. It's another one that stands out in the north. And you can see it's got...
Uh, there's its color. It's just got a deeper green and a harder shine. And where it came from was different than the rest of these. That might be a jade. Well, we still have a whole other barrel. I never know how much you want to focus in on each rock in each kind of rock so I just try and give you a good sample and a good feel for what they are, what they're made out of and how they turned out Loving the deeper greens here. And so, it really does uh, make them a more tangible gift, I think, to be shined up. And this is where you have to go back to the innocence of a child. That's the hard part about everything right now. So many things in the world can be appreciated by, by all ages. And to separate things into categories of age seems like, again, another step backwards in trying to connect information and knowledge being shared between the generations, which is something that is tenuous, very important, you know, we learn from our past and the last generation are the actual living witnesses to the past. Even though when you're young you think you know everything. It is important to have that connection and I fear all things in our world that cause separation, that cause gaps, and spaces where there shouldn't be. Especially when it comes to appreciating any of the activities or details of our life on Earth because surely that's one of the best ways to learn about the positive aspects of the planet, not just the negative, and about how to enjoy yourself here, about why it's important to take care of it. So, if it's going to be ever harder for different age groups to share that between each other, not just races, religions, creeds, and kinds, and all the other divisions that we already have, now we're doing age? I don't know. I, mean, I don't mean to bring down the moment at all, but I think that, um, I don't want to sit silent while so many fellow creators are going to be affected by the changes in our platform. That's the part I'm having problems with. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry, I'm referring to the new COPA regulations. And, and this is not a disgruntled stab at YouTube at all. This is um, just something that we are all affected by, I'm sure YouTube themselves who had to has already had to pay financially and is now just trying to comply. So, so thank you for bearing with me. As I was given a platform, so I am using it. And on to the next. Yeah. 
Ooh, this is the one that had even more of the jaspers and our flat stone. Oh, look at the windows where the quartz veins were. They almost moss agate. Little veinings with the fire coming through there. Boom. There's that jasper. Glory. Look at that. And that was a natural slab. That is the thing about that stone is that you see the slab of that? That shape was chosen. This barrel's still wet. There you go. That shape was chosen by nature and withstood all the forces. I didn't cut that. And is there any translucence? I don't think there is. Beautiful, right? Let me get the this light on there. Some bold direct light here. Jasper land. Yes, I'm very happy with that one. Good shape, good shape. Also exciting in here are these jasper mixes with the actual red. Oh, fire agate, carnelian. Look at that. Uh. You can see in some spots in this it's just veins. But they went carnelian instead of just quartz or a white to bluish opaque what would be considered chalcedony this is all in the chalcedony it's all microcrystalline but Now this is one that somebody asked me, is it a pudding stone? So, I had to go check out some Michigan rocks, and I have no idea. <laughs> but this is what this one looks like. Here is a piece of that serpentine, and in this one you can see a little more of the fiber that it's known for. But beautiful, it's got that soapy 
lustry feel to it. This one came out pretty rough. Another chunk of those carnelians. And we're hunting the fires, the firestones. Colors in that. It's like blocks of. Uh, Yellow wax sucking clear red wax is what it looks like. I'm trying from so many angles to get you the colors of this and the translucency. It's so hard to bring that to you without the camera glare. <laughs> and I actually got these at such a high gloss this time that I'm getting a lot of reflection back off their surface. Which is a good thing. Dumped it out. Here's more pieces of that. These are all pieces that me and Olive were finding boulders of. Remember we left them there because they were so large? That's what that material actually looks like. So it doesn't it doesn't clean up. bad at all. It's a very mixed batch of stuff, but I'm happy with a whole lot of what's coming out of it. There are more pieces of that goodness. Ooh, this little one I knew was going to be awesome. Look at that. The colors in that. And those are actually metal 
inclusions of some sort that start off each little patterning there. Or non-patterning. That's a nice little pendant stone or something. Our light fades on us as we speak. Let's get to these. These of translucence. The colors in these are just crazy. I'm going to go ahead and let's slab those boulders up. Let's slice them with saws. We have the tile saw about to get fired up. And we'll see if we can't cut them and get rid of some of the pitting. And then we'll polish the slabs and pieces, because look at that. Oh. And that's just a pink colored one. That's what it looks like in hand. And you see those pits are just ever deeper. Who's our next? You're seeing these with me for the first time. Here's the next pink, orange, oh, look at it, it's just, I'm in love, it's like some, something that would taste good. Get my fingers out from behind it, look at that. Yes, I think we have the stars of this show. When I saw how rough they had come out, I thought, uh, oh, but the color was just not evident until they were polished. It's letting in light from all sides this way. And they're just telling me they should be made into something.
And last but not least, Okay, I'll see you at the next spot. Hey, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below. It helps the quest for details grow. I appreciate the support. And if you double click the bell icon next to it, you'll get a notification each time we put out a new video.